Tonight, the Faculty Senate at Fayetteville State University is showing their displeasure with the process to select Daryl Allison as Chancellor. Passing six motions in a Friday open session, one of the resolutions demanding the selection be revoked. This coming as a petition with the same desire taxed on more than 2,000 signatures. FSU alum Brady Frank Jr. is the creator of that page. This is our George Floyd moment. This is the moment that we decide that we are not going to settle. Allison was previously a member of the NC Central Board of Trustees and UNC Board of Governors, but he resigned in September of last year. Brady says that move, along with Allison's mother-in-law, Brenda Timberlake, being a Board of Trustee for FSU, makes the process seem biased. We know that he's ill-qualified. He has no experience or education that says he can do this particular Job. An FSU spokesperson confirming that Timberlake resigned on February 17th, the day before Allison's selection. Trustee Timberlake, she didn't participate and she recused herself from any participation at all. Vice Chairman Val Applewhite was a part of the search committee. At the end of the day, um, it is President Hahn's um, uh, responsibility to, to select the name. Um, I like to say uh, we did our I, we did our due diligence. In the university's official statement, they say the selection process followed established policy, adding while the Board of Trustees is to give consideration to the search committee's recommendation, they have the final say which ones go to the UNC system president. Both Brady and the Faculty Senate want to see how someone with little experience won the position. The process was not only flawed, it was just wrong and it seemed to have been calculated. The university says Chancellor-elect Allison will start his role on March 15th. Brady says they're not just stopping at a petition. He and other members of their group intend to possibly take some legal action in order to stop this process.